another episode of Pat and Pals. As you can see, we're in a different location that isn't Lisa and Mike's flat. Or Barbara's. Yay. No, yeah. We, Where we can we be? Yeah, yeah, we've done that too. Yeah. We're at Sew Me Sunshine HQ with the lovely Harriet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and she's away. disappearing she's running away right, right away <laughs> it's all cool we managed to get her in there but um, yeah the lovely Harriet's let us film this episode in and you'll find out why in the next episode yep. so another reason to tune in um, so today we're going to show you our finished Cali shirts well, um, some of us well, are yeah. finished. <laughs> Almost, Almost finished. Almost finished, finished, finished Kelly shirts. short yeah. dresses. Yeah. 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 Shirts. Yeah. Oh, yes. Shirts. shirts. Oh, I'm the only one. Yeah, you only went for a full. Yeah. 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 Magic. Yeah. yeah. Magic tricks. Yeah. So, oh, since you finished, you're going to go first. I, I can go first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, in case you are now thinking, what happened to that sort of pale blue nice rifle paper rifle paper um fabric some babies yeah mm. like that really cool fabric yeah that that was not enough that was not big enough so i thought when i bought it i bought it together with the pattern from here actually but like a year ago two years maybe no a year ago and I think at that time I might have decided that I was going for the shirt and then a year later I thought I decided to go for the dress. So it was not even, it. I tried like what if I fit, but pretty quickly like it wasn't going to work. So I went for this fabric because I had like three meters in my stash. Um, I bought this two years ago from Walthamstow Market. It's not something that I would pick again. So. It's more a wearable toile, so I'm not, I'm pleased with the outfit and the shirt or the shirt dress and the style, but I want to make it again in a different color because this is not really, now that I've been working a lot on like what's my style and like what do I like to wear, I don't think that this fabric is it. It does suit you though. It does suit you, it, but it's but not it just, what you wear. No, it just feels a little bit like a Hawaiian like, you know, party, like, I don't know. It's just not, it's not yet. quite me. However, with the shirt, like with the style, I'm like super, super pleased. Um, everything went together really well. I wouldn't say it's quick because it's a lot of steps. So I think it took me so like two days to do um, everything. Keep in mind, I'm very slow uh, because I do everything like way too, like I want to try and get it as perfect as possible. So I'm a very slow sewist. Um, but about two days doing all the steps and haven't changed much. I've added 10 centimeter to the length, which I'm happy with. I feel like it's it's fine now. But yeah, if you're a bit taller, like any taller than what you guys probably, then I would already lengthen it because you've got that high hem on the mm -hmm. side and it's already yeah. thinking like, ooh, it's like too sexy maybe. But no, I think I can just get away with it. And I didn't make any other adjustments. Um, Do you remember what size you made? That's a good one. I made a size 6 and even though my measurements put me in a size, I think between 8 and 10, I looked at the finished measurements and I know that it was going to be a baggy fit. So I sized down because my shoulders and sort of this bit here is like petite. Yeah. Yeah. Like usually. So I, I, and this is size 6 and I'm, I'm totally happy with that. So, yeah, not much to report from me, um, and yeah, that, that was it. I finished. Can I just get, like, a pat <laughs> on the back? Yeah. Mm? Yeah, mm? and you didn't? Mm? Okay, mm? all right, yeah. Mine looks kind of finished, I, though, so... I'm this not... is just because of all the other episodes where I wasn't finished. I thought I would just be good this time but, and actually finish. Yeah. Yeah, well done. You didn't alter the pattern, though, so... No. That's usually the... Yeah. That's yeah. your Achilles heel. Yeah. It is. But yeah, now how about you guys? Because I'm, yeah, yeah, you'll see in all the, like, the close-up shots and everything what it looks like, but yeah, not much to yeah, report. Yeah, it looks nice. Thanks. Yours too. <laughs> Am I going? Yeah. yeah right. I, I, I'm looking at it. Yeah. Um, right, so I have pretty much finished it. It's just I, um, yeah. so I've made the crop version. I've lengthened the front. So oh, it that, is lengthened. So no, oh. I only lengthened it so it's equal to the front and the back. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I didn't. I've made the yeah. cropped, but I made it 
not so cropped. Yeah. Because I'm sure it's not cropped. Yeah. Yeah. It's like normal shirt length. Yeah. Maybe the actual shirt would be a dress. I don't don't know. No, it wouldn't. um, I did the mandarin collar, which I'm really happy with. Um... Yeah, I'm just generally really happy. I was actually going to do buttons, so I did the normal button placket. And then when I put my buttons on, I didn't like it. So now um, I'm pinned in now, because I'm glamorous. <laughs> but I'm going to put poppers yeah. and then have it It just like I that. really like it with this style, that it's actually just sort of plain. Yeah. I think it really would work, yeah. It's very loudly green as well, which makes yeah. me really happy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's And worked. your brooch is like, look at that. It's Wolf and Moon. Go check them out. They're really good. Um, And then I haven't hemmed because I tried the facing and it made Mm. it too blocky Mm -hmm. um, because I want to also be able to tuck it in. Yeah. So I decided to do the bias binding, but because the bias binding that you cut is quite thin, I stupidly didn't do a narrower, narrower seam. Yeah. Does that make sense? So I done one it's centimetre. Very, oh, yeah, because you're meant to sort it. Like half one, a yeah, half a centimetre. So, yeah. like, I was tired, I sewed, and then I was like, ah, oh. so I'm going to unpick the bottom and redo it. If a tip for anyone that is cutting their own bias binding, I would make it wider. That is just the instructions. It's, really narrow, it's yeah. very it's narrow. Very it narrow. took me, like, I usually way too I long. usually it's use, very like, fiddly. pre made. Yeah. Bias binding. Yeah. But I just yeah. wanted to because I thought because of the shirt. Yeah. I thought it'd be nice for it to be the same. Same color. Same color because I yeah. thought there might be more chance you're gonna see it. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, really happy. Managed to wiggle yeah. it out of less than the pattern says, oh, even good. though I lengthened it. I did use a different um on the yoke. I've got oh, a different yeah. fabric, but I'll share that on my Instagram. And then you'll see. So the inner yeah. yoke is a scrap from my skirt from the last make. Yeah. yeah. Recycling. Um, okay. And then I also did cut the pocket, but then with boobies, pockets aren't going to work. Uh, for me, like I didn't. I made no. the pocket, and then I put it on. I was like, no, that looks horrible. It's not going to work. Such a boob pocket. It's like I never like it. It's like what, some people looks you, really cute though. But what do you put in? Oh, I've Oyster got a card? mic now. But yeah. Okay. O- Oyster card pocket. A yeah. pen. If you're a teacher? Yeah. I would yeah. just I would just end up putting a tissue in it and then it would be long <laughs> Yeah, it felt like a weird <laughs> but I do I think the pattern was really nice. I wanna make yeah. another one. I'm yeah. really happy with the mandarin collar because it's not something I usually have but I really it's like really it. Yeah. Um I wanna make another one. So yeah. I've already picked out some fabric. I'm gonna make cool. another one because I really I'm just really happy with it. Yeah. Cool. Especially when it's finished. Yeah. Yeah. No, it will it will be soon. We'll put yeah, like, I just didn't wanna rush and make it badly. Yeah. I just wanna We'll put photos up. Um, send send me photos because I always forget. Yeah, and no, we will. we'll put it up. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Okay. How about you? So it's me. Uh, <laughs> I didn't I didn't finish mine because I'm not feeling very well, Aww. and I've got I probably sound a bit snotty, so that's fun. Um, so I made the crop one. I didn't lengthen it, but I also did what Louise did and made the front and the back the same length. I did a full bust adjustment as well. I actually twirled mine. Um, just because I also, you'll see it on the close-ups and stuff, um, but I changed the back pleats on the back yoke. So rather than having the centre one, I've got two on either side of the middle bit. That make, you'll, So that you put it on sense. either side where you would have the middle yoke, you yeah. put it on either side yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I really like, like that. I like it, it's four, cute. Yeah. Four pleats. Um, and it was really easy to do, I just kind of cut the, measured how much the actual pleat was, cut that off and then marked in where I wanted the pleats to go on the um, back piece and then added the width in for the pleat. Um, so yeah, it was super easy. Yeah. Um, I don't have any buttons on it because my cover buttons went missing. Like, still kind of... And the post or like at yeah, your house? No, at, well, maybe at my house or at the post, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But okay. uh, they, went, they went, so I'm going to use cover buttons because I think that would look really nice in yeah. this. Um, and I was actually going to use organza for the um, button style and the collar and things, but I didn't need to. I have some really lightweight interfacing and I ironed a bit on and I was like, well, that actually looks fine and it will okay. save me a lot of work. So I did that. And then I went for the collar and the collar stand because originally I was going to do the mandarin collar, but then I changed my mind and I quite, I like it. Uh, it's don't really have nice. Any, um, it's quite, you know. Oh. That, sorry, I forgot something. Mm. I wanted to mention the um, tutorial that's on the oh, yeah, on the closet case. You used it. Yeah, uh, website. Um, it's really good if you click on sew along and then Kelly's shirt, and then there's one that says sew the collar, 
This is, by the way, our director, Arthur, that you can hear, possibly, I don't know if you guys can hear, uh, but he's having a good time playing on Giving the floor up. in that corner over there. <laughs> um, so that's why if you hear a little baby, um, it's not ours, it's uh, baby Arthur. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so do check that um, tutorial out because it's really cool. It's um, you, how you sew a collar with... Um, you. So you basically put a thread right when you... Before you pivot to do the corner, you put a thread through. I'm not going to explain this very well, so we'll link it down below as well. Um, and that thread is then stitched into your stitch line and you pull the thread and that way you can pull the yeah, corner. your corner yeah. out. It does take some practice because the first one was... Eh, it's the yellow corner that it's a bit like too like round, but this corner is like pointy how, perfection, like yeah. pointy yeah. pointy. So um, yeah, but that was really that was really well. That is just our mini director saying that we have to move over a bit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I so like I wanted to. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're uh, thinking of your bed and yeah. then just possibly just possibly already just wandering going off. into the corner. Yeah, for the be snooze. But, yeah. Um, but yeah. but yeah, so that that was I was now that you said yeah. that I was like oh I wanted to mention that because I yeah. loved this learning this new technique. Mm -hmm. The sew along was nice because I used it for the button placket because oh, it was yeah. a bit when you're reading the instruction about button placket you're like what and mm. then you go on the sew along and you got the pictures it's a bit more it's, clear. Yeah, yeah with the pictures yeah. it's really helpful. Yeah, their yeah. sew alongs are good for a yeah. case. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. But yeah, and so what are you going to do? Are you just I going to do I decided to Sorry. hem it. Um, I was gonna like I've got the cuff cut out. But um, mm. I actually quite like it, this length. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I think I'm just going to hem it rather yeah. than... Um, yeah. I wasn't That'd be sure. Cute. Yeah, and I'm going to um, bind the bottom off. And the one change I did make, because I, did, I wasn't going to do the facing anyway on the bottom of the shirt, um, at the bottom of the crop one, I brought this seam allowance out by 1.5, so you know it curves up like that. Mm. And then when you sew the facing, you, the dot to stop sewing actually stops quite high up because you're putting the facing on. Yeah. So I had the curve and then it came out by 1.5 and I straightened it off. So I had enough to do the seam allowance all the way down to the bottom. So it's going to make it a bit easier when I buy a spine that curve. Okay, yeah. yeah. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and I think that was... Oh, and I French seamed it. French seam to seams and stuff. Yeah, of course, with that. Yeah, fabric. but I did it the other way around. So, because it's a curve, I did so the centimeter first, trimmed it down, and then just did uh, half a centimeter. So it's just got a tiny seam on the inside. Oh, okay, so you make it Ooh. smaller. Yeah. I was wondering about that because I just did what the instructions did, yeah. um, told you to do. So yeah. I was thinking, can I do a French? Um, that so is. that's because that's how you put a, um, if you're doing a sleeve and a French seam, that's how you do it on a curve. You would do the centimeter first, and then you would do it so it's tiny. So it, you know, it's not yeah. gonna go weird on the yeah. on the curves and stuff. Oh, that's cool. This to know. is like a very good tip. Yeah. So uh, taking notes, mental um, notes. But yeah, that's it. I'm really yeah. happy with the with the color. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. I think it's gonna look really cool with my um, peppy pinafore, because that's purple. So I will um, be a really subtle outfit. <laughs> yeah. Subtle as always, babe. Yeah, subtle always. The monochromes. You're all about those. Yeah. But it was um, it was nice, nice to sew. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to finishing it, but um, yeah. yeah, soon. But maybe not today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing, yeah. nothing else to report. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh, so well, that's 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 all. our Cali shirt. Yeah. yeah. Shirts, 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 and undress. Shirt yeah. ensemble. Shirt ensemble. Uh, <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, yeah. Let us know what you thought of Arthur's directions. That yeah. would be really good to know. Yes, um, we want to know. And if you want to like hear more of him next time, we can totally arrange that. <laughs> we could just do an interview. It might be interview easier. with Arthur. He's got what? a lot to say. He's, he's like. <laughs> tiny just in case you're wondering um and uh yeah so don't forget to like and subscribe yeah just the usual check out no. yeah check out the instagram yep. all those yeah. other things and we'll see you next time yeah. bye. bye see ya <laughs>